hello and welcome back to the new movie tutorial video so in last video we created this movie manipulation package for our custom robot arm urdf this urdf we generated using solidworks so now in this video we will check the by default generated package by move it setup assistant so first thing is we need to launch the uh, this gazebo sorry this demo underscore gazebo launch file to check if our robot simulation is generated properly so first of all we will see the folder generated by move it setup assistant so the move it setup assistant has generated this folder or package if we go into that it has semi list txt package.xml and a setup assistant file the dependencies are added in the these files already so we don't need to worry about them then there is a launch folder it contains lot of files but we don't need to worry worry about all of them the main thing we want is the move group dot launch which loads everything needed for this simulation from this files the next is this move it dot rvs and the move it underscore rvs launch launch files which opens the rvs configuration of this robot the next file we need to uh, worry about is this move it controller manager which takes care of which ros controllers we want to use for this simulation and similarly the sensor manager xml file for taking care of the sensors and then to load everything or for testing there is the three launch files the demo.launch file which only opens the rvs configuration the gazebo launch file which only opens the gazebo simulation and this demo underscore gazebo.launch file opens both rvs and gazebo simulation if you come back to the main folder of the package again you will find this config folder if you go into that you will find there this ros controller.yml file if you open that you will see here there is some incomplete information of the ros controllers here you will find all the joints but again they are not separated according to their move group or their joint state controller joint trajectory controller which we written in lesson 7 you can see the video here so we need to again configure this ros controllers file with the our custom file okay so for this video this is not our concern so we need to only go to the launch folder and launch the demo underscore gazebo launch file for test for testing okay so first we need to launch a new terminal so run the ros core command first in this terminal to start the ros master once the ros master is started launch a new terminal and on that first we need to build our workspace because we have created a new package and we haven't uh, built our workspace since that okay so go to your catkin workspace my workspace name is move it workspace move it underscore workspace so now i am in my workspace so i will run the command first to source the bash file it is available in the devil folder and execute it now run the command catkin build if you are using catkin make then use catkin make so the package is uh, built successfully without any errors so now we will again source the bash file okay once we are done sourcing the bash file now we will launch that demo underscore gazebo launch file so run the command ros launch your package name and the demo underscore gazebo dot launch file and press enter it will start move it as well as rvs but you will find a uh, error that the controller spawner has died because the controller file is incomplete that ros controller file so i will just adjust the two windows so that you can see them simultane simultaneously so let me adjust so 
So in Gazebo, you can press the middle mouse button to rotate and the left mouse key to drag. But in Arviz, the left mouse key is to rotate and middle mouse key is to drag. So take care of that. So in front of me, there is the Arviz also open and the Gazebo is also open. So now I will start planning. So in planning group, you will find two planning groups created as we created using that setup assistant. You can watch the video here. And there are some goal states. So if you select arm group, it will show only the uh, by default created states for that group. Okay. And if you select the hand group, it will show the goal states or the by default states we created. Again, if you switch, switch between the groups, you will see which links are concerned with it by highlighting with orange in RVs. You can see. And again, for my hand group, arm group, I have selected the planning solver, that KDL solver. So only for this group, it will show this uh, access system. Okay. Now we will start planning. So currently our ROS controller is not configured. So if we give a command from move it, uh, sorry, from Arvis, though we execute the command, they will not get reflected to the gazebo. So let's see. So I will give the state to go to the pick object. And I will click on plan. So you can see Arviz is able to plan the trajectory. But when I try to give the command to the robot using this execute command, the robot will not move. So if I go to the terminal, so you will see here the error. Like if I go to the bottom, unable to identify any set of controllers that can actuate the specified joint because the move it tries to find the joint trajectory controllers that we written for our URDF file. But as the ROS controller for the move it don't have any name because move it don't know. So it haven't added them. So it is not able to find those controller. And that's why the both simulations are not connected to each other. So in next video, we will configure that ROS controller file. And in the next to next tutorial, we will create the launch file and launch the simulation with working. It will work after create, uh, configuring that controller. So stay tuned and watch my next video. Thank you.